Hi guys, Maria here from Wim Planet Cosmetics. So I'm just back from my morning swim and I felt so inspired and I wanted to share my thoughts with you. So, you know, being out there in beautiful nature, swimming in the Atlantic, early morning, sun is rising and you just realize life is so easy and life is so beautiful and that's what it should be. It should be easy, it should be, you know, enjoyed. And yet, um, just like the other week, I was feeling so down and so upset and just like, I was at a point where I'm like, okay, fuck it, I'm gonna, you know, no, that's it. Why should I be helping other people? You know, I don't like, appreciate my services and the product and, you know, I really do have the best interest for them in mind. And, you know, I was just like, okay, you know what, let them poison themselves. I don't care, like, it's not my problem really, it's theirs, you know, and, you know, no. <laughs> but then in the end, because it is all so interconnected, I still, you know, I wake up and I'm like, damn, I still want to help. I still want to make it better. I still want to have a positive impact with my work, with what I do every day. So I'm like, okay, you know, I have to find an outlet to kind of process it and to not become angry at other people. Okay, and then what happens is, for some reason, I always just, you know, see there can be a million things that are amazing and a million positive reviews, but then, you know, it's the one negative one that just points out and it's like right in my face and it's like this, you know, alarm going off and I'm like, damn. You know, and then it's, it's it, for, some, for some reason I'm focusing on only that and I'm like, that is crazy, you know, it's crazy. Why am I now so upset? Why, you know, why am I disappointed? Why, what... Yeah, for me, it's like really being out in nature, just, you know, just calming down, just having a nice swim and cold water and that really resets my mind and it helps me to keep going and to really understand also like, hey, is it still the way I'm going? Because I'm doing it my way and it's the only way I can do it. And I mean, yeah, we all had these jobs at some point, you know, some jobs are the money jobs, you need them, you know, to pay the rent to then continue doing what you love. But in the end, if you only wake up, go to work, do it for the money, but are miserable, that's terrible. That's so terrible that you come home sad, you know, frustrated, and then maybe take it out on your family and friends. And then, like, how's that gonna help? It's not. So for me, and personally, like, just for me, I just some I cannot do. Like, I really have to follow my passion. That's what I want to do every day. And also, if you do have your own business, you spend long hours doing it every day. And... Yeah, you want to make sure that you that you love what you're doing. And honestly, and I got that very early on in my 20s when I had a different career in the film industry. And I was on set as an intern just starting out. And, you know, we worked hours, like 18 hours. You know, the longest I had was 20 hours. And I was not getting paid for that. And honestly, no one could have helped me back going there. Like, even if they had said, here's money, now go away. I'm like, no, you keep the money and I will come back. <laughs> I would just be here because that's where I want to be. So if you don't have that passion, if you don't feel this like, wow, this is something I'm going to do for free. Like, you know, I want to do that. Just let me be there. Honestly, maybe you should find something else to do because I know, yes, we all want to make money for it. And that's a sweet spot and you will get there. And I made money with it and I made a lot of money at some point. But in the beginning, and I'm honest, that's just what it is. Also nice because it always, you know, it helps me to see is that really something I want to do? Am I just in to turn a quick buck? Am I just in for, I don't know, something else? Or is it actually what I want to do? So for me, it always helps. But yes, if I wouldn't love what I do, honestly, no, I wouldn't be doing it anymore because there are faces that are amazing and great and you make, you know, a lot of money. You get to travel to beautiful places. You can work remotely, which is amazing. For me, I love it. But then there are also faces, um, and I had one recently where I really just was like, you know, I don't, you know, why, why? And that is for me, especially when, um, you know, again, it's this one little thing, it's on a bad day and you have this one negative feedback or this one, like for me, it wasn't even negative feedback. It was just like a disappointment of a situation that didn't happen. And I was like, okay, you know what? Just don't, but no. So really important is, you know, I talked about what it was like in episode one and two and um, a little bit in three, what it was like for me to start my journey and uh, to go all this way, just from the idea of founding your business to then, you know, really doing it, the process of doing it, and then to finally have your product because that business I started was a, based on a real product, like a physical product, which is a complete different process than it's a digital product or a service. 
Um, pricing also a complete different story, which I will cover in a different video. So yes, I also want to tell you what it's like and I want to take you behind the scenes because it's not always what people say, you know, on the social media platform. It's always like, yay, you be, you know, make 100k in one month and yes, someday you will, like, definitely it's possible. But it's not this overnight process and doing it from scratch within one month, hmm, I don't know you I mean, I've done it, I've done it multiple times because I've founded a few companies now, but... Yeah, let's reach for the stars, just keep in mind, you know, reality in life happens and, you know, you have to be flexible and that is the one thing that's so important, like, be flexible. And if some country doesn't allow me, you know, to work the way I want to work or to expand the way I want or if it's slowing me down, honestly, I'm going to pack my stuff and I leave and I then start elsewhere, you know, so I'm really, like, open to, okay, this is my business, so I'm not very flexible with that because that is my passion, that's what I want to do. If you don't like it, it's fine, but that is what I want to do. Uh, but I am very flexible with the location, let's say, or, you know, I don't even mind learning different languages, new languages in order to, you know, start my business abroad. I don't mind that at all. So these little things for me are details. But um, yeah, staying flexible in general is very important. Um, again, I'm also going to cover it in the next videos what it's like to move to other places, you know. For me, it was um, London, Cape Town, Mallorca. Uh, now I'm in Spain on the mainland and yeah, I'm just gonna also talk a little bit about that because I know and especially many Germans they love going to Mallorca as well and they have this expectation in mind what it's gonna be like and you know and then they wake up to reality and that's what I mean I'm yeah I'm gonna talk about the the amazing parts about it but I'm also gonna talk about you know what is what is it actually like in reality yes because it's not just a vacation so if you only know it from vacation you know i can already tell you no it's not going to be a, a year-long vacation you also have to work and you will probably have to watch other people you know on vacation while you are working so can you do that you know do you like the island also in winter because you're probably going to be there all year round and stuff like that you know it's just this you know everyone has this idea yeah let's do it and then reality hits bam but i know that on social media People don't want to hear that. People don't want to hear the downside because, you know, it's this amazing part. It's 100k next month. That's what people want to hear and they get it. And we all want it and that's fine. It's beautiful. Awesome. But just keep in mind, you know, it might take longer than a month. And if it does, it's not because you suck. It doesn't mean your products suck. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they are not good enough yet, but ask around. If the feedback is, no, they are awesome. It's not the service. It's not the product. You know, that maybe it takes time. And... While you're on it, and that is for me always, you know, at some point I'm also like, oh my gosh, how much longer, like, please, you know, can it happen now? <laughs> um, but what helps is to really help each other out. And that is the one message, like, this morning I was just like, oh my gosh, like, I really want to, that's my homework, so to speak, I want to ask for, I want to ask for help, you know, I want to do that more, because, you know, I'm usually the one like, hey, because I know what it's like to run a business, and I know it's so time-consuming, I don't want to, you know, like, I don't know, bother other people with my shit. But in the end, it's very important to help each other and to do it, you know, it, it comes from your heart. That's also important because so many times, and especially when I'm working like for social media, influencers, etc., it, it's usually always just a business, you know, it's like, oh yeah, I'm going to say that if you pay me X amount of money. And then it's it's not authentic anymore. It's not real, you know, but I want to attract real people. I want to keep it real. I'm not going to lie to you. I know we all want to hear, yeah, my product, they're going to cure X, Y, Z in one week. But you guys, that's just not what it is. But I'm honest about it. And I tell you honestly what they can do. And then, you know, you can be assured, rest assured, this is what's going to happen. But it takes a little bit of time to get, you know, adjusted to it, to get used to it, etc. And this is... You know, where I'm like, okay, I really want to find people, like-minded people, I support them. And very often I hear, yeah, but then why should I help you? Like, how is that going to make, you know, money for me? And like, oh, now people are going to pay for your services. Yeah, and you should be happy for it. Like when I, let's say, like an example, you know, my target audience are people like me who love nature, who love the ocean, who live somewhere in the sunshine, who want to treat their skin, but also don't want to, you know, poison their bodies and or nature. And especially the ocean, like I'm an ocean girl and I just know, you know, from being on islands and from living by the sea, I, you know, watched 
people on boats a lot and I know that you know everything they just wash off they use like the commercial really shitty sunblock and then they are back on the boat and they're washing it off and it gets rinsed right into the ocean unfiltered and everything and I'm like yeah that's crap I mean that's really shit just swimming with the sunblock on is enough and then they wash their hair and um, their body with like another commercial um, shitty product you know and that goes right into the ocean unfiltered with all the plastic material and all the artificial crap they put into that and I'm like damn we, it, I know I can do better and I know these guys can do better and I'm pretty sure because you know most of them now they enjoy being out there but many of them make a business around that so the home the ocean is your home and your business and I'm pretty sure you want to take good care of it and you want the ocean to be beautiful and healthy you know again it's your home and it's your business so and that's why I reach out to these people for instance because I know hey we have something in common I want you to you know reach more people I want you to be successful because then other people maybe even you know the youngsters who growing who grow up now are like, hey, that's amazing, I want to do that. You know, they see you as a role model and they see it and then they're going to follow in your footsteps. So I want that to happen. I want you to point out, hey, listen, like, look at this, you know, this is what it looks like when it's totally polluted. Do you want to jump in? No. Do I want to, you know, is that nice? Is that enjoyable? No. So let's try not to pollute our environment and the ocean and just, you know, recycle everything or go just, you know, as organic as possible. Like, don't use processed anything. Stuff like that. So I want these people to be successful. So they attract, you know, more people, reach more people, and more people are like, wow, okay, cool, I didn't know, or oh, wow, is that beautiful, or yeah, man, I'm totally gonna take care of that now and now that I saw, you know. And then vice versa, you know, if you are that person on a boat, you want me to succeed. You reach a lot of people to educate more people about it and to point out the issue so more people are aware. Because obviously, like, who's going to supply you with beautiful products? Or who's going to also educate people about it and say, listen, you know, it, it doesn't have to be difficult. It's actually very easy. So you see, you help each other. Very, very important. And then automatically, we lift each other up. And automatically, we are both, you know, both parties are more successful. And that's what you want. Like, this is this beautiful, like, it's a, you know, when you teamwork makes a dream work situation. And... Yeah, that's so amazing. And again, unfortunately, like being a brand on social media, I just know um, that it's not like that out there. So everyone is just looking out for their own, you know, profit. And it's like, no, but uh, what is what, what do I get from that? And I'm like, oh, come on now. What do you get? I, we are together. We are just making a positive impact here on, you know, your skin health and the overall ocean health. I mean, how is that not important? Like, and especially if you live by the ocean, that should be priority number one. So yeah, I don't get that, and I don't believe they mean it. It's just so funny that it's always, you know, it's always just the money and how, what, how much can I make? And oh, but no, I'm not going to help you because then you're going to make more. You could be making more than me, and it's just like, oh my gosh, you guys, that's really not it. And trust me, you cannot save the world alone. So really, just work together. And again, like see it from that side. Don't don't try to see it so you know. Oh, but this other person has more. I don't know. For me, that's always so German. <laughs> so it's like, shh, don't say that. <laughs> no, but um, I don't know if it is German or not. But it's just uh, I see that very often in a lot of different people. And it's so sad because really see the bright side like do you want that person the brand the product to survive and to live on because you love it so much because it's helping you or someone else or the environment then please share that you know like lift each other up because you benefit from it as well and if you see it that way you know I, I for me it, like life becomes easy life becomes so like oh yeah look at it and you feel good and you know you've just promoted someone else maybe a friend you like you know another colleague of yours that is you know offering this great amazing service or product and for me it's always this oh I feel so good you know like I really hope someone sees it and I really hope they're all gonna book with you so yeah yeah I just wanted to share that um, so if you happen you know and we all are in that situation probably at some point where it's like oh man you know I'm helping everyone but it seems that no one is helping me and yeah I mean that sucks but it always starts with you so, and that is what I told me when I had my, you know, down moment where I was like, oh, you know what, just everyone, whatever, I don't care, do your own shit, whatever. But then in the end, it's not going to help. 
it's really not gonna help, it's not making anything better. So yeah, I just went for a nice swim and like watched the sunrise and I'm like, yeah, you know what, that's all, that's bullshit. Nah. I'm totally gonna, you know, keep supporting the guys I want to support and I really hope that will attract then people that come to me and say, you know what, I like that approach, I like it because it's real and it's not this fake shit. And uh, yeah, so just saying, you know, been there, done that, it's rough sometimes and it's like, why should you continue your road? But really, if you have a service, a product, a message for people and if you believe it's gonna change the world, it's gonna make, make the world better and if it's just for one person, Continue what you're doing, please, and share it, like, yeah, inspire, motivate other people to do so too, because we need more happy people in the world and less frustrated ones, and then, you know, it's so much easier already. Okay, next time more, maybe I tell you what it's like to found abroad and move to different countries and start your business there from scratch and why I did it and how it helped me and, you know, all the obstacles I had to go through. Yeah, but let me know if you want to hear something else, um, you know, anything related to my business and starting an online business from scratch. Let me know. I'm very happy to answer your questions. Until next time. Ciao. Thanks for watching.